Well, good morning, good morning. It's Rach here, a multi-award winning award writer with the awards people sitting on the sofa of success with a chum you have seen before, but not in this guise, Mr. Award winning <laughs> dude. Um, I wanted to invite Mark back. Blush. Oh, bless you. I wanted to invite Mark Black back <laughs> because uh, we were at a little shindig of, I don't know, 400 or so intimate friends. Um, uh, last Friday? Yes, uh, the Nasherelle Entrepreneurship Awards. And uh, this was not an award that the awards people wrote for Mark. He did it all by himself and Bloomin won. Uh, but I just wanted to pick up with you on that because when I saw you by the bar, maybe, allegedly, uh, afterwards, you had such a smile on your face and the reaction and I think the surprise as well. Yeah. So I just wanted to talk about that because I think a lot of people kind of un, you know, kind of do it down a little bit about how it feels. And I thought because it's so close to it, that all that feeling will still be really, really there for you. So I just wanted to talk about the National Awards, yeah. how it felt when you heard your name called out, the whole process of entering the video, the, you know, what it was like. What was it like for you, Mark? <laughs> the, en the, the entry was a funny one, as you said, is um, it was something we, we, I say I, me and Joe, um, entered mm. um but credit where credit's due is that you, you know you'd done the work before beforehand on that um uh so the actual application itself wasn't too difficult and you know following your introduction to ninda with me at, mm. at niche mm. you know he was quite keen after you know understanding the business and everything mm. else for me to get involved um but it was quite a late entry you know right towards the end of the closing period so i <sighs> I thought it can't do any harm, you know, let's just go for it. Yeah. Um, I was also then going on annual leave. I was going out of the country for a few days. Oh. So the, 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 the deadline was, was fast approaching. So <laughs> the application was easy because Joe put it forward, my PA. However, the video, it was, oh, we haven't got a lot of time to do this. So it was a bit stressful, I'll be honest, <laughs> trying to squeeze it all in. But it, yeah, because your diary is yeah, it's, busy. It's, it's a bit manic. <laughs> But the, on the day that the video needed to be done, I was with a client in Nottingham mm. and the client were brilliant. And they said, why don't we just get involved? Oh, you know, why don't we all get involved and then we can make it look like, you know, make it look as, as, as good as possible. Um, which actually I was nervous about at the start. But when I saw Kira, the guy that edited the video, he said, Mark, I, he said, your video, he said it was brilliant. He said all of the laughter, you know, he said uh, the, almost the narrative that it created yeah, yeah. Um, and the relationship you've got with the clients, it showed through. Yeah, yeah, um, I did. And I was like, oh, well, that's lovely feedback. Um, but hand on heart, you know, I've been to other awards and the, uh, say compared to Niche, where I genuinely thought, probably a little bit wrong now, I was like, the, there's a part of me that really felt we were going to get there. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So you do feel all of those emotions on the night. Mm. Coming it to the natural, um, I genuinely, genuinely didn't think I was going to win this. It was quite a tough there was, group edge. Th there there was, was some good people in there. There were some that. great businesses in the room. Yeah. You know, there were some really high profile people in the room from yeah. an audience point of view. You know, I mentioned earlier on about the diversity mm. of that crowd. Mm. So for me, there was a novelty part of this because I didn't know the people there. Now, yeah. people who know Mark will know that he's probably one of the best connected people that no, I know. No, no, but it's true. You are ridiculously well connected. So to, for you to say there were a whole load of people in that yeah. room that I didn't know. And I, same with me. Same with me. And, and it's nice, isn't yeah. it? I think a lot of people are kind of going, Whoa. There were some of the usual suspects, yeah. which was nice because you've got a bit of a familiar Good feel. So you see the usual suspects. So like, you can walk in. Safety, you know. Yeah, safety net. Yeah, so you walk in, it's like, oh, I can go to it. But then you walk, I went, I don't know any of those people yeah. over there or any they, of those. Who are they? So, who are they? So that for me was really good, and I do remember saying on the night, "What what a cracking way they've, you know, that they've dressed the venue. It yeah, looked yeah. lovely." Um, 
the compare Tommy was out of this world, <laughs> one of the best of the, all the awards. He yes, was so yeah. funny. It's the second uh, time seeing Tommy, yeah. and he, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, Ninda's one of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. Um, you know, he's just a genuinely nice guy. I mean, and talk about well connected, but oh. deputy lord lieutenant of this yeah. and head of something Frankly, else. Frankly, he'd make yours, mine, and Pam's and Dave's address book look like yeah. you know, the A of the A. Yeah. BC. I mean, it was <laughs> five minutes. I've said this, Linda, five minutes with your address book, I would die a happy woman. It's yeah. like, Rach, never going to happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was the fact that you got people from Manchester, Birmingham and London yeah. in the room as well. Um, and some awards, not all the while, but sometimes it's the same. Don't get me wrong, consistency, continuity, it all, it all has to happen. Yeah. But when you go to a new award that you've not been exposed to and you see that, it's actually, I quite like this you know because i don't feel like i can just take you out your comfort zone a little bit yeah, yeah so that was that was really good for me now you were first award up weren't you yeah so we it's it i went from relaxed great food sorry yeah food, food. wow <laughs> so was amazing on our starters on our table we had a lovely was guy it called paneer salad with those oh, fish bites the fish bite oh. it was the fish Adam Jolly, do you know Adam? Yeah, we Adam was like this. No, no, but but no, but you can't take him away. But no, you can't take him away. I was like, could, could you just leave this? No, no, but like, mm. <laughs> which was really wise because there was quite a gap between yeah. starters and mains, wasn't there? I was yeah. thinking, why the hell did the potato? Oh, I, don't uh, I can't remember what the potato, like a potato cake, but Indian potato cake type, oh. but forgive me. But I'm, the paneer I'm, salad. <gasps> I looked and I was like, I haven't had paneer in years, but the spicy peppers and the chilli and... The paneer, I was like, oh, it was, I'm in heaven. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm in heaven. I could have died a happy woman, Pam, in that book. Washing it all down with Cobra beers as well. It, this was this was good. Um, <laughs> so I'm just, a quick thank you to Ajay for hospitality. You yes. know, Ajay, thanks for having me. It was great. Sorry, um, we're talking about food now, aren't we? Yeah, anyway, we are. let's right, go back we, to we, you. We've gone off subject. It should have been um, you. It's all about you. So, yes, we had a fabulous starter. Yeah. And then they started on the awards. They started on the first awards. one up. And I was adamant. I wasn't going to win, you know. I really did feel you that way. Back arm cross weight, looking forward to hearing who was going to yeah, win. Not so it was you. No. I, I had no nerves because I didn't think I was going to win. I was just like, all oh, right, okay. Look at, looking forward to seeing the video. Watched the video reel yeah. and I thought, oh, some great businesses there. Saw my video reel was cringe. I'm cringing because I can't stand watching myself. Um, but can't, video though. But Mrs. Platt is the first to criticise. But she actually turned around. She was like, oh, that, that's pretty good of you. And I was like, oh, okay. So that, she and dolls up well, doesn't she, Mrs. She P? She scrubs up okay. Every now, every now and again when it's required, she looks all right. Mrs. P, you look a diamond, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they announced the winner. And I was almost deaf when they announced the winner because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and people started, people around me were clapping at me and Ajay stood up. And then two other guys on the table stood up and were clapping. And I went, well, who's the winner? And Gemma went... You've only gone and won it. <laughs> and I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. And that's just like, well done. <laughs> well done. And I, oh my God. And I, I think I remember coming out from my chair, walking to the stage and the smiles on people's faces. I don't think they weren't smile. Well, they were smiling because they were obviously happy for me, but they were smiling because of the look of absolute disbelief and shock on my face. I was like- It I was a shocked face. Shocked yeah. and happy, yeah. but shocked. It but was like genuinely, but, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, in one way, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd have loved to have been able to do a speech and say thank you to the whole world and people that had helped me get, go on the journey. Um, but the other part of me says, no, it's glad, it's good you couldn't do a speech because I couldn't have, I, I was so speechless. Let's get him off stage. Um, so, but no, it was, it was brilliant. The, the feeling that, that you, it's quite hard to describe, but you know, you know, my first proper awards win was, um, yeah, that's a, certainly a feeling that I'll, uh, I'll take with me for a number of years. I hope every subsequent award win has a, a similar reaction from you because it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I was quite far away from Mark. I was, you know, back of back of the room, um, but just seeing you go up and they're kind of like the, and then people kind of congratulating you. Yes, yes. Uh, what am I doing? Who am I? It was yeah. just brilliant. Um, it, w it was. It was almost family-esque as well afterwards. Yeah. You know, there were so many people that were, were really quick 
to come and congratulate and say well done including the judges which I really liked as yes, well so yes. you know there's a couple of the familiar faces from from the judging scene yeah. that wandered over and they were like <laughs> Mark well done you thoroughly deserved that and I'm wow you know and no it was just it was really good um what reactions have you had from clients, etc., as well as kind of family and friends, especially the ones that helped out with the filming, I guess? Um, just, just that of, you know, congratulations, you deserve it. Um, I've been I've humbled, I think, and shocked by the amount of social media um, commentary on Twitter and LinkedIn. You know, the, the natural group have been fantastic. They did a whole piece on, mm. on, me, on all the winners. So I got, you know, also like a, a collage of photos and a piece from Ninda, did my own, you know. But it, yeah, it, it's been brilliant. Um, you know, there were certain people, I won't embarrass them by naming them, but you know, there were certain people that wrote really heartfelt, you know, um, congratulation messages, um, which, you know, you almost have a bit of a lumpy throat moment because you're like, oh, well, that's nice. Um, wasn't expecting that, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the response has been first class, and um, from client from a client point of view, you know, the, one of the major clients that I work with, um, these guys were were on the phone pretty quickly. Well done, you know, you deserve it. Well done, um, and it does it humbles you a little bit because you, you you do sort of think, do I deserve it? You know, how did I win that? Should oh, I should I have got it? Um, your story <laughs> is pretty special because it hasn't all been sunshine and roses. Yeah. You've you've had to fight. For, for what you've got and where, you, where, you, <laughs> where you've got to and, and the planning forward as well and kind of the global ambition for world domination. Yeah. Yeah, good on you. Thank you. So where next? What next? Um, well, the plans for the business are still 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 in place. Mm -hmm. You know, we're looking to do the property acquisition from the, the nursery side of the business for, for, for my wife. Um, but the, the acquisition piece for Insight to grow the business, you know, and create this group of agencies mm. is, is well underway. We've been out busy talking to the corporate finance market. Um, two relationships have developed there, which seem fairly positive. Good. I'm not kind of trying to tempt fate or no, anything, but no. you know, <laughs> from an early stage planning point of view, we have a couple of external sources that have bought into the vision Brilliant. and have said, well, as and when it's the right time, we, we'd like to get involved. So that for me was the first, you know, the first tick in the box yeah. on that, that side of the journey. Um, but immediately, you know, it's just really looking to develop the portfolio, keep doing what, what we're doing. I had a meeting with a marketing strategist that I've been developing a, a, an early stage working relationship with in Nottingham. Um, and we've come up with a, a new service offering. So watch this space, yeah. people. Um, but it will be a, you know, a thoroughbred or pure commercial strategy delivered workshop style event for senior management partner board um, to, to help them with developing that commercial strategy roadmap. So um, I think it's going to be, it'll be unique to Insight and it will be that sort of practical but wacky type um, approach that, that I have, but with all of the insight of the new marketing strategy consultant that's going to come on board and help deliver it. So that's quite oh, yes. exciting. Um, and bolted onto that will be the London piece. I've been itching to get back into the London market. So um, this will be designed half for the regions, but then half for the central London. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, Ninda's London Awards then may well be of interest to you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on the same page. So, you know, I'd love to see if there's a client or more than one client that we could maybe get involved in the London yeah, Awards because yeah. they're not till next year. Yeah. Um, but I'll certainly be in attendance. Um, oh. I don't think we'll need to. Uh, that will be, be in a question. Posse from London, uh, from Leicester yeah, down to London. Absolutely. I want to get a bus. <laughs> Well, I think we ought, to get, all down, we ought to get onto down. East Midlands Railway and see if they can do us a, 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 a first class discount like they do for marketing derby guys, you know. Yeah. Um, so that'd be well, quite a good I, idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think we ought to go down. Like you say, you know, there's folks from Manchester, folks from West Midlands, folks from London at the Leicester, uh, the East Midlands. Mm. Uh, National Awards. Why not go down to, well, to London? Yeah, when I spoke so with... us deal with, with clients all over the UK and down in London. Why not? Absolutely. Well, I mean, I spoke to Nina. I met, we met for a coffee yesterday and, um, you know, he's keen to see. Yeah. He let, we, we left each other with food for thought around how does Insight evolve post winning the award and how does it get involved or become an ambassador or, yeah. you know, maybe just get involved again next year. So yeah. there's some decisions to make on that front. But, you know, what I can say without any doubt is that in some way, shape or form, we will 
be involved or applying for, for that award ceremony next year. Oh, how exciting. New story time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I loved about it was uh, I was doing the uh, wine slash beer run for our table. Um, and uh, it was fair to say there were some lengthy queues uh, and I was standing there getting a little bit bored and then I saw you come out and, and you looked, you just threw your arms around me and just gave me the biggest cuddle and I was like, oh look, I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm easily pleased. No, but no, don't. <laughs> I, you know, but it, it's it's kudos to you, Rachel, because you know you you wrote the original application some months ago that went into other other platforms, and you know we used that as the as the basis for this application. Um, so again, thanks thanks for that. Um, but Story it was yours, though, mate. it's Story you know yours. you introduced me to the concept of Naturel months and months ago. It, we didn't move forward at the time. Yeah. You then introduced me to Ninda at the last awards we were at, so that conversation started. Um, so it's only through your sort of persistence and your, you know your introductions that have made it happen. So um, yeah, when I won, it was it was certainly a coming out into the foyer area just to catch my breath was a. I'm really glad I did it now. <laughs> I just think with your business, the, the geographical spread you already have, the types of businesses that you deal with, consult with, guide, mentor, whatever the right words are, uh, and knowing Ninja as I do, the geographical spread of his awards, both West Midlands, now East Midlands, yeah, Manchester and London as well, it just seemed to be a match made in heaven. Um, and then, yeah, like we say, chucking the good food and uh, some good food. blooming good speaker as well, you know, and all of a sudden you've got, you know, something that's kind of like, hmm, I need to be there. So, yeah, I was really pleased for you. So in terms of awards for the future, you've already said that Nashville next year might be on your radar. Is there anything yeah. else that you kind of got your hat set towards or are you going to keep it a closely guarded secret? Well, no, no, no I th you know, I think Insight... Insight's official birthday is January, so we're three years old in January. Um, <coughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Um, so I think the startup and the the new, you know, the um, that type of award is that the, that's been and gone now. Yeah. So you know, if we look to the usual suspects, um, the Leicester Mercury, maybe some of the Chamber or Not Post, Derby Telegraph, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. um, niche certainly is whether or not it's. Do we enter a small business category or do we enter one of the rising star categories? Um, mm. Maybe even some kind of service, if there's a service-based award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional, so I, I'm not sure, but I definitely think there's an opportunity for Insight to continue with its awards entries. Uh, natural without, without doubt. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna, the, the awards next season is gonna be a busy time. I'm going to send you an invite that Sue uh, from the IOD sent to me for the launch of the Institute of Direct Swords. You need to have a look at that one. Ah, sorry. It is, yeah, we spoke about this, didn't mm. we? But I think we were a bit late to the table last we time were. round. And it is one that needs a bit of concentration on because they, they are clever with their questions. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, uh, I've, we've been members of the IOD yeah, for yeah, how long yeah. now? And yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we met through the IOD. So, um, well, let's put a tick in the box yeah, against that yeah. one. Yeah, well, think. I'll get the invite over so you can come. I mean, it's at Leicester. It's only at Castle Business School, beginning of November 7th in my head. Might be wrong on the date, but I send the invites yeah. over to you it's free to attend event but they'll tell you more about the iod there'll be past winners there there'll be people who are thinking about entering so you can kind of suss out the competition a bit um but it's a nice long deadline right now for for it because it's open now but i don't think it closes till feb maybe even march so plenty of time well, to good, sit to, down good time and, and have a think about that i think that's that that's for me the definite... east midlands you down to london for the nationals and that's all about Easy. Crazy profile. Easy. Crazy profile. And it's a blooming good badge, frankly, to have a nice brand to have associated yeah. with your business. Cool. I will do that. I should take a note, Mr. Thank Platt, you. and send that over to you. Um, before I let you go, I will ask you the three fast, uh, quick fire questions again. I know okay. you've done them before, yeah. <laughs> but let's just see if the answers are different, Shams. So you're at an awards ceremony. Can you remember what that feels like? And you're, uh, you hear your name. You hear your name called out as a winner. Do you high five or bear hug your chums around the table? High five. High five. You go up on the stage. Do you take yourself, the team? Who goes up on the stage? Given the opportunity, the team. If not, obviously me. <laughs> I'm at the bar and I say, Mark, congratulations, you've won. Is it champagne or Prosecco, my friend, to celebrate? Oh, steady on, Prosecco. Oh! <laughs> I, um, no, oh, Panama God, Superstars just won. 
today so yeah. far. Yeah, I've, I've got to say, over the years, I've, I have developed a taste for Prosecco rather than Champagne. Never again is this man going to be gracing the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> However, in my defence, that answer was driven by Mrs. Platt. Oh, really? She, she doesn't like champagne. Well, I'm not going to argue with Mrs. Platt because, frankly, she's gorgeous and, and, you know, I don't want to fall on the wrong side of anybody's. <laughs> I'm beloved so, of a half, so you can have that one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if I was at the awards on my own and we won, and Gemma wasn't there, and I came out into the bar, champagne all the way. Because that, that way I couldn't be told off for spending more money on the champagne. <laughs> but it was bought for me, Gemma. It was <laughs> nothing to do with me. <laughs> Congratulations you very much. on a really well-deserved win. I'm made up for you. I can see it still means a ton to you as well. These little <laughs> no, no. are fabulous. Uh, no <sighs> doubt we will be seeing Mark on the sofa of success again, Charms. I have a feeling that 2020 is going to be an incredible year for him. Him, his business, his associates, his clients, etc., etc. Well done, pal. Until we see him again, you take care, and we will see you next week. Bye for now. Thank you.